SMT Nation, we back nation. We've got an update out of T-Mobile. Big shout out to the homie B for sharing this with me. Uh, kind of told me, or, uh, you know, let me know that this was going on developing. And then I did a little bit of snooping around and found what I was looking for as it pertains to this T-Mobile news. So this article was posted uh, just a few weeks ago. And there's an updated article on this too, but I, I wanted to call back to the old article for a reason. Um, anyways, T-Mobile has been focusing on corporate uh, corporate operations. Uh, you know, post T-Mobile and Sprint merger, you know, they've been focusing on getting their free cash flow up, uh, doing share buybacks, talking about that program, and now they're going to be paying this dividend and they finally declared, you know, the amount of it. So uh, that's that's what we're going to talk about here. No financial advice within this video. I'm not a financial advisor. I, I don't give stock advice. Just want to kind of talk about these facts here in today's video. Article will be linked in the description. I do think Barron's has paywalls for a lot of their more re recent articles. But anyways, it'll be in the description. And if you guys want to support the channel, you can. There are ways to do that there in the description as well. All right, so T-Mobile has been focusing on their corporate promises, things that they were promising, you know, during the time of the Sprint and T-Mobile merger. Now those things are starting to happen. Uh, share buyback program, dividend payments to investors, all those things, you know, to the tune of about 19 or $20 billion uh, is the plan. Now this doesn't really impact uh, customers directly, but one could say potentially that it could take away some you know funding that might be going back into the network i know a lot of people have been requesting calling for increased fiber optic circuits to t-mobile tower sites uh improving redundancy densifying the network uh, those things are going to happen i'm not sure about the scale and you know the the rapid nature of that uh, but t-mobile is a rapidly growing company very fast uh in terms of growth they have a lot of usage between home internet and mobile users so that area could definitely use the investment but they're going to be focusing on corporate strategies and pleasing investors as they promised right they told investors we would do this and they are following through so the dividend payment is coming in at 65 cents for a share and that's obviously well behind their competitors with respect to investor dividend payouts i think um i think at&t is a much healthier number uh if i remember correctly it's a much higher percentage and that's basically why um, and now that the stock is down to like $15 though with AT&T, you know, that might kind of bring it down below this. I'm not sure I'd have to look. I know Verizon trades at a much higher number, uh, for a share compared to AT&T and then their dividend payouts like 8%, 7 or 8%. So it's quite high. Uh, and you know, according to this, I, coming in at 65 cents a share and a value at 140, uh, you know, you're talking about what? four and a half percent or a point four uh point four six percent or something like that so it's it's very low it's not it doesn't seem like much but for someone who has been accruing and adding to their position this is going to be a nice little welcome payout now the thing is is when companies start paying dividends to a sizable amount it indicates that they can't grow uh, i don't think this is an amount that would scare away investors and say okay this company's not growing anymore I'm pretty sure that T-Mobile's all-time highs were in like the $150, $152 range, which means you're probably about, you know, 7%, 8% away from that number. So there might still be some room to grow if indeed they get back to that point. I know a lot of the, the ratings for this stock, you know, they typically rate them around $170, $190 range, right? As their, as their um, I forget what they call that wherever they think the stock is going uh so they'll they'll do those things and maybe there is more room i don't know uh but i do know that the industry as a whole doesn't get a lot of love these days uh it's it's it just doesn't seem like that's where the growth is so the investor if you're investing in telco you're looking for consistency you're looking for stability and quite often the telco investor is looking for a dividend and now t-mobile puts themselves in that position so i think that puts them in a spot potentially to garner some attention from the typical AT&T and even Verizon investor or even, you know, Wireline Telco. They've, some of them pay dividends too. I forget which one, if it's Comcast or Charter, uh, but they've now put themselves in that same kind of 
area with the other telcos to pay the dividend. And of course, this is going to be coming from free cash flow. So T-Mobile's been focusing on free cash flows. They're just starting to generate it. They're more profitable. And now they're doing some corporate stuff with that money. What do you guys think of the dividend payout? What do you think about the current position T-Mobile is in it? Where do you guys think this dividend goes in the coming years? Do you guys think this is something that they will accelerate either quarterly or annually and maybe increase the percentage dividend over time? I personally believe that they won't do that uh, until they accelerate free cash flows, right? So in order to pay this out, you got to have free cash flow. If that accelerates and they can take care of some other things, you know, there might be some some other, uh, you know, corporate ambitions they have on their radar, then maybe they can do that. I, I, I just think it's impressive that they finally did this because we always thought it was only a matter of time and then they finally did it. And here we are. But tell me what you think. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard.